What's up everyone and welcome back to more Let's Play Ocarina of Time. How's everyone doing today? It is a beautiful night in Death Mountain and we are about to enter the Bangalore's cavern. But before I'm going to do it, that I'm going to take the moment to congratulate our great friend in the Kwisan on 100,000 subscribers. Amazing job, keep up the good work and that's yeah, pretty much all I can say. We all know how awesome he is. If you didn't know yet, you really got to check out his videos. So, having said that, it's time to enter dungeon number two. Which is sealed off at the start, but luckily for us, there are palm flowers here. So, it's pretty obvious we drop a palm flower at the end. Can we blow it up? No. Pull it. Right. And by blowing up the entrance, we reveal Dodongo's cavern. Dungeon number two. Which looks a little bit, yeah. Suffered in the first dungeon. It looks like there are many lava pits around here. So watch your step. Chief, thanks for warning. I already noticed that. Is that lava? It rather looks like magma, even though it's. Yeah. It kind of looks the same. Or is the same actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, it's close, it's close. Damn, ow, those things hurt. Just ignoring. Well, there are two doors here which you can blow up. One is here. I think it has a silver, so it's nothing special. Oh, um, a rock like this. You can blow it up, but it's nothing special. Now, I highly, highly advise you if you didn't get the healing shield yet to get it now and equip it. You are probably gonna need it. Because one hit from fire with your shield on burns your shield away. And a lot of shield which you can't hold for than no shield at all, huh? So, we break down the first door and we enter here. Now, there's one thing which you need to do. These things are the thunder larvas and they will blow up if you hit them. So what you need to do is you need to lure one to the door and smash it. By doing that, it will blow up the wall. Yeah, unless you got bombs, this is the only way to get them out. In this door are uh, not a lot of stuff, but there. Oh, wait, there is one. Let's see if I can shoot them all. Two, three. And I'll do this one with the set. So, we got our first cut spot in this dungeon. If I recall correctly, there are three. Indeed, there are three in this dungeon. So, yeah. We can get rid of these. It's not too much, actually. Uh, well, those things actually bury themselves after a moment. But it's okay. And now, what you need to do here, if you stand on the switch alone, nothing will happen. So what you gotta do is grab the statue. I said yes, grab. Push it forward. Nice and slow. And then to the left. Or rides, whatever perspective you're looking from, and the door opens. Which means you can enter without problems. Now, this is a long corridor. Watch out, there are keys here. Oh, whoops. One, two. You have your bread curse. And what's up? Oh, this is a sort of boss room. And these really awesome looking lizards appear. Even though they're not that difficult, just wait for them to slash and jump back. You can probably do it like this, like backflip and regular attack. And there are two, so if one disappears, oh, one should go as well. Oh, he drew his blade, so he's gonna go across. Can I get a free hit? Yes, it works. Those things actually jump over his way. So he goes, and it's probably time for that one to draw his light. Yes, it is. Free it. So that's one of two. Now right? the other. One. Make sure you have the right ready. Try to target as soon as you can and jump it back. Oh, okay. that should go off this way. And so we go. a little try, but it's okay. It's a try. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And now we're gonna go. On. Well, this? Hmm. I believe there's a bomb flower somewhere here. Oh, yep, it's here. You can use it to blow up the road. Oh. 
And I'm going to bring the other one because I, if I recall correctly, I need two bombs. No, I recall incorrectly. I don't need two bombs. Well, in this room, there's only a lot of type of scrub, so. Which is nothing special, so I'm going to get out of here. Okay, so in this room are the first Dodongos, and these are pretty easy to kill. Just slash it still. It will move around you, and only the tail will play. This doesn't work. Come on. Come on. Ah, you're gonna be getting that spot. These things blow up as well, so make sure you're careful. I believe there are two. And the other one is. Come on. Yes, that's good. That's not good. That's right. Oh, wait, there are three of them. And these are the rocks. And. Yes. And the other one with this. No, I said. I said. With. With this, come on, there. Now it's time to get the attack stick out of here. So you really need a attack stick here. And burn it. Run to the torch. I'll bash your sword, that makes the chance that you lose your stick a lot smaller. Burn this, and burn this. By doing so, the door opens. And we completed the first routine because if you stand on this switch, the door over there opens and unlocks the second routine, which is the West Hall. So I guess it's time to play the West Hall this time. Yeah, it is. Now you've got nothing on you, you're not gonna make this, gonna make this. Ooh, yeah, I can make this. Is there something over the way? Oh, hmm. Something that I need to find in the box. Oh, wait a minute. A chest! It's probably the dungeon map, considering I did the first half of the dungeon already without even finding the map. And yeah, it's the map. I should have known And over there is actually a lazy salesman who sells you a decker shield in case you lose it. In case it gets burned. And that's a really clever position. Way to go, strategy. So over here is this really cool looking bomb flower scene, but I'm not going to blow the bridge up yet. Instead, I am going to drop this bomb here. And... Into this door first. Because behind there... Oh wait, no. That's something different. I will get this chest first. I'll show you what the other one does in a moment. Da -da -da -da. A compass. These things will move, and what you need to do is actually run into them with a bomb. Or something like that. Whenever you hit it with a bomb, it will just jump around and blow up. Revealing the bomb. Yeah, the block is fast, it's way now. Open again. So, um. What you need to do here is go up here, place a bomb exactly in the middle, and watch this really cool scene. Okay. As the bridge drops down, and my rumble feature of my controller is going crazy. It's really cool, this concept was also used in Four Swords Adventures, and I believe in the window like some of all. Well, you can do it like this, I prefer a quicker version, just like back open, being acrobatic, as I am. And do the same. Now, let's see, oh, here I choose one of the I'm not really sure if there are 20 rupees on the other side. But what I do know is that there is not only a regular spider there, but also a gold one. So I can find up to get my second sculpture that's open up the dungeon. There's only one more remaining, I'm pretty much on the Yeah, well... These things are fire keys. Actually, they're burning keys, just like that. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. I'll just do it in another way. I'll just learn. Like, come here. Bye bye. Come here. Bye bye. Just like that. It's pretty easy. 
If these things hit you with your Decker Shield on, you lose it. I'm warning you. Your Decker Shield is not really resistant to fire. Fire is super effective. And it usually destroys your entire Decker Shield. Which is something you don't want, of course. So let's see if my HS is good for this one. Oh, no. None of my flaws can be. Oh, oh. Oh, in this case, I would have lost my deck shield if I had it on. So, kudos for wearing the. Uh, would you stop flying around? I'm trying to hit you here. Our rage! Ah, finally! After 25 shots, I hit him. Anyways, you're looking at the top of the. Um, the Dango's Cavern right now, as you can see. And. Make sure you don't fall off, it's quite a long road back. I can tell. So just a jump over the bridge and go here. And in here is some sort of dungeon. And of course, Navi has the bridge in again. Please. You'll never know we'll be around the garnish in this narrow path. Use L targeting in order to look around. I don't care, I know that. And I can take a half heart of damage. Wait a minute, I didn't even get that much. Well, hmm. Doesn't really matter. Can I make that? No, I don't. I think I need to climb up. This room will be blocked. You can climb here though, and yeah, I can make it there. There's a chest. What's in the chest? Could it be money? It is money. Twenty rupees. Pretty okay. But what I need to do here is do a little bit of climbing, I think, unless I'm doing it wrong, and I blow up the wall. In the chest. Which I did very good. Oh wait, that seems glitchy. It's almost like I jumped through the ladder. Well, this one is. There are two kinds of dungeon with it. One is this, which is just really simple, just shoot the eye. The fire will fade away for a moment and you just jump out before it returns. Really, really easy. And here we get the stuff that don't know the or a black eye, or whatever you call it. And over here we got. Boss fight number two. It's exactly the same as the first one. Exactly the same. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, who wants me? Come on, you over there. Enjoy a certain fight. Awesome. Yeah. I've got nothing in that one. Okay, who's up next? You draw your blade and fight me. You fight me to your death. Okay, now the only I killed your body, now come and get me. Take this! Oh man, what, wait, wait a minute, why the... It's weird, one of us seemed to take one more hit. For no reason. Well, anyways, if you walk over there, you can get one heart. And just, I'm gonna show you. You're actually above boss fight number one. Or mini boss fight number one, actually. Which was earlier. But I'm not gonna go there just for a quarter, for three quarters of my heart. So it's not worth my time. My time is limited. So this is the second puzzle-ish thing, and the only tricky thing here is that you need to jump over, look to the left, and fire this eye. And then you can walk along. It's pretty easy. Navi always flies to the left, already revealing you. Where you need to go. So going up here, what will be here? It is a big chest. It's not the map because we got that. It's not the complex because we got that either. What could it be? It's a bomb bag! And because we got a bomb bag, we obviously also got bombs! And now I can blow stuff up. Oh, that's so lucky. Mm. Just gonna check out what's in there. It's probably salesman, so I'm probably gonna have to take a second walk. But anyways, I like it to have my, my own bounce. Do be warned though, these things go off a lot earlier. Yep, it allows you to disrupt cells. So, anyways, I will be going up here off screen and I'll see you in the next episode of Arcane of Time for part 2 and most likely part final of the Nuggets cover. So, thank you all for watching, make sure to like, comment, sub, and I'll see you guys then in the future. I think, I hope. Peace out, take care y'all.